Hello there, Andrew here. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of potassium fluoride. I made this nice little table. Take a look. Bam. So the first thing I do is write down the elements I see. So we have potassium and we have fluorine. Next then to identify the number of atoms, that's where the subscripts come into play. If there are no subscripts down there, it's assumed to be a one. So we got one of each. Then we're going to multiply those numbers of atoms by the mass of the elements. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So potassium is 39.10. Fluorine is 19. So let's write them on in. So this is 39. 0 0.10, and this was 19. Then to find the total mass of each element in the compound, we're simply going to multiply this row on together, right? So that's going to be 39.10. This is 19.00. And then all we have to simply do to find the total mass of the compound is just simply add this column on up, right? And this is now going to work out to be 58.10. And the units here are going to be in terms of AMU, or atomic mass units, because we're solving for molecular mass. That's all there is to it. Now you know how to find the molecular mass of potassium fluoride. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.